everybody, and welcome to The Tea. This is the only live show where celebrity hot topics and your opinions merge in a live discussion. My name is Jeremy Hassel. I'll be your co-host today. We got a lot going on. I'm so excited for today. I even brushed my teeth before I saw you. Got clean, because we got some guests for you. I mean, we got some people like my man DJ Self, you know him from Love & Hip Hop. I know him from the radio. What's up, brother? Are you gwinning over there? Yo, I'm always gwinning. I'll continue to keep it gwinning, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smile. See that laugh? Too much going on in this guy's life over here. Now, if you guys got questions for self, you guys got to go to t.tv, Skype in. Our producers will bring in. Maybe I'll let you talk to the guy. We have a lot going on here. And for you guys, we have relationship expert. She knows about love. She knows about sex. She knows about life. She has she, a book, radio. This is Dr. Jane Greer. How are you, doctor? I'm terrific. It's such a pleasure to be here. What fun. <laughs> I'm excited that you actually took a moment between clients to actually Skype in because I will need your advice and our callers will very soon. You ready for this? Absolutely. This is right up my alley. My shrink wrap is all about the celebrities and what we can learn from the trials and triumphs of their relationships. Woo! And we can learn a lot from her, people. She's board certified. Trust me. She knows what she's talking about. And, and look at this lovely woman, the Amina Butterfly that you guys should know <laughs> From Love and Hip Hop, where I know from Black Butterfly, yeah, I go back. I go back, woman. How are you feeling today? I'm great. I'm awesome. Look at, I'm that, pop <laughs> look at that pop of color on that lip right there. Ladies, you jealous? You can yeah. look like that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, you guys have questions for Amina, DJ Self, uh, Dr. Jane Greer. You can even do this. I got questions already. Kristen Burt, I saw you on the red carpet on Sunday. I'm looking through all the stars and I see you. How was it? How did you enjoy the Academy Awards? What's going on? The Golden Globes. <laughs> Academy Awards aren't until February, but um, you know, the Globes are so much fun. And I think what a lot of people don't realize is not only is the show at the Beverly Hilton, all of the parties are at the Beverly Hilton. So you'll see the celebrities dashing through the hotel lobby, running from the HBO party over to the NBC party. It's a great time. And remember, they drink through the show. <laughs> See what we do? We give you the inside tips. Now, everyone, the T.TV is here for you. Luckily, we have the Women of Wet Paint, which is number one for all the trending and what's going on in the world. That's where we find all our news. So I got to come to the one and only Jessica Bennett. Jessica, I have so many people on today. I want to know where you want to take it. Who do you want to put on the hot seat first? Well, how about let's talk to Amina, because we haven't seen her this season on Love & Hip Hop. Amina, ding yeah. dong. You are up on here. Jessica, go. What's Hi, that? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. Thanks for sitting with us today. So we have not yeah. seen you this season on Love & Hip Hop. Where have you been? What's up with you? I know. You know, like, first of all, the reason why you haven't seen me um, is because I moved. I don't live in New York anymore. I moved to L.A. almost a year ago now and after we wrapped last season. And so, you know, that's a big part of why I'm not on the show. And then... You know, I really didn't want to do it again. Um, I was kind of over it, you know, the drama. And, you know, it's been four seasons. So it was kind of a lot. And um, when the producers approached me or us mid-season, I don't know, I was pregnant. I was getting ready to give birth. And um, I kind of like, um, you know, had a little break. So I felt ready again for, you know, cameras around me. So you are going to see me. Um, but you know, really limited, only like a couple, a couple episodes, most likely. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be on the show, but we just felt like the way we left off, it wasn't really, it, you know, it was kind of like, it wasn't really an ending. So we, okay. we felt like, you know, yeah, we wanted to be part of it again. So just stay tuned. All right. And Amina, I think I saw one of your beautiful kids in the background running around. What's going on? Is there a party? Yes. Party? My you know, my daughters, they are always with me, always around me. I even take them to work. I just had a book release party because I released my first book. And they were present. They're always with me. When I can bring them to work, I do. So being that I'm home right now, they're, of course, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold up. Talk about this book. What are we going to get in this book? Well, a lot of things that you haven't seen. Like, you know... Really, it's it's about my life, me, who I am as a person, and the story that was public, that was on Love and Hip Hop. Um, and then it's also just, you know, a lot of stuff that wasn't told by the show. I felt like they left a lot of stuff out. So I felt the need to just, like, tell the whole story, not just parts of it, as they did. So I wrote a book about everything out of my perspective. And, yeah, everyone should 
go pick it up. It's called The Other Woman, available on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. Ooh, The Other Woman. The show is called The Tea. And while you're on the hot seat, you got to give us some tea, some juice. What am I going to get in that book? Give me a tidbit, just a little bit, just a touch. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. You know, as I just said, I don't want to give anything away because then people are not going to buy it. Like, people are already telling me, like, oh, why would I buy this book? I already seen your story on TV. But no, I'm telling you, if you, if you read this book, you're going to, you know, you're going to learn some things. And, um, yeah, I just want to encourage everyone to go get it. <laughs> Okay, okay, you see what I did? I tried, but guess what, Amina? We're not done with you. Guys, the T.TV, you can join in, Skype in the video. You can even talk to Amina. I can make that happen for you. And we have a lot of stars on the show today, and you should know these two faces from being on TV for the last few years, letting us into your lives, and now on Celebrity Marriage Hi. Boot Camp. What's going on, Kings? Hi. Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot. We're glad we're here. Glad we're talking to you, Jeremy. <laughs> Come on, please, not a whole lot. Don't be coy, don't be shy. Guys, if you haven't checked them out, no check out this clip. What's going on right now? Points. Everyone noticed you talk down to me like a child. You are such a bitch. She's like, oh, he thinks that about me. And then also, things that I say, like I don't realize what I say can really hurt him sometimes. I don't want to have kids with you, or I don't think we should have a family. It cuts pretty deep. I, I sometimes say things that I think are sweet or whatever, and you sometimes laugh at me. I don't think you a lot going on, on on this show. What were your thoughts before going on the show? Who was more scared, you or you? Man, on, honestly, we really didn't have a clue what we were getting ourselves into. And we knew we had some problems that we wanted to fix. And what, I mean, you don't get that kind of, uh, you know, you really don't get that kind of ability to do that. So it's kind of like, well, why not? Let's just go do it. Let's kind of work out some things. But, uh, yeah, neither one of us really knew what we were doing. <laughs> no, I can guarantee you that the things that we go through on the show are real. So it's real emotions, it's raw, it's crazy, and you're in the moment. And it is therapy. And therapy is expensive. So we were like, hey, we might as well go on the show and learn how we can make our marriage last. Mm. Now, you see what I did, everyone? It was that simple. I Skyped in. I got to speak to how many TV stars in, like, what, seven minutes? I'm looking at my producers. You guys can join in as well. I see a lot of you watching over on Facebook. We are moving over to the T.TV, so you want to learn more about these stars, you got to come with us and Skype in. I want to hear your opinions. We have so much going on here. Let me open the floor up as you were. Oh, Asia. She has the party right there. Look at her. Asia, I have so many people on today. Where do you want to take this, Asia? Who do you want to talk to? I got Self. I got Amina. I got Dr. Jane Greer. I got Amy. Dill. What's up? It's like an ice cream store. I get all the flavors. Um, but right now, I think I want to talk to DJ Self, if I could, please, honey. I got because, you back. Hi, Self. What's up? I'm chilling. What's poppin'? <laughs> so I have several questions for you, but I'm going to try to narrow them down to just two. One, what is the big deal about this Creep Squad? I mean, we see you guys on the, t on the show, and y'all are beefing back and forth who's in it, who's not. It's like, you know, is it that deep? Is it gangland? Like, tell us, why is the Creep Squad, Listen, like, the I, thing The one thing, one, one, you see, I got the Creep Squad shirt, right? So, you know, it, it's a big thing, man. These shirts are, are moving so much. So I, I didn't know the, how big Creep Squad was until um, I was on the show. I wasn't really inducted into the Creep Squad. I kind of, like, got shoved in right so when cisco was was doing like the the, the stuff he was doing for my when me trying to fill out a or build a record company i had to figure out something that that would, would, would did you know get under his skin so then i said i'm the new leader and then once i saw him blow blow up like that i said dang i didn't know creep squad was this big like a lot of times, you know, some people say, oh, I can't believe it's that big, but it really is. Like, I go and host different parties at different places, and people have tattoos that say Creep Squad or chains that say Creep Squad. And I'm like, oh, so I, it's, it must, it's like a big phenomenon. And if anybody's not on that wave, I think you should start getting on the wave. Oh, <laughs> you see what you did, Asia? You just set it off. Self is unleashed. He's saying get on the wave of the creep squad. Oh, my. Self is here live. You guys want to join the conversation? All you have to do is go to the T.TV. That's where the show is. I see all of you on Facebook. We are on the T.TV now. So if you want to join it, we got so much to talk about. Like, look at this. Like, in case you missed any clips of Love and Hip Hop this season, check this out. I really want to find out, why would Mariah go behind my back and work with Sammy Sausage Head? I'll be back. Well, I'm going to wait for you over there, all right? <laughs> all right, baby. Thank you. you. 
I hope kicking Cisco out of the radio station the other night didn't scare him away from coming to this event tonight. Because truthfully, I got some words for both of these clowns. The liquor is back at my place, though. All right, bro. What you want to drink? Yeah. My man, boy? DJ Self. What up, kid? Whoa. Bless with your up? presence. What's up, brother? How you doing, nah. man? Oh, we can't... I can't give it all away. I can't give it all away. You're watching the show. If you have questions for Self, jump in and come on over here. Now, while I have all of you on here today as well, Dr. Jane Greer. Now, now that I have an expert in love, relationships, and sex, what I want to come to you as, with all the stars that are, are going on shows like Amy and Dylan King going on a marriage boot camp show or whatnot, and there's another season coming out soon, I guess what advice would you give to a couple before going on, I guess, a reality show and having intense therapy from, from two therapists you don't even know? Well, you know, therapy is very bombarding in that you don't think you're the one who has the problem. You always think it's your partner who's at fault. And so a lot of times the expectation is that, okay, great. Well, now there'll be one or at least two therapists who are going to show him or her how wrong she is. And so the really important thing to keep in mind is that in a marriage, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's what both people need to do differently to learn how to connect and get along better with each other. And so if you go in with an open mind and not looking to blame or, you know, prove yourself and instead look for support in how you can talk to each other differently and how you can most importantly hear what the other person is really upset about, you'll do well. You got to listen. You hear that advice? You got to listen. And Amy, Amy. Got it. You're listening. <laughs> Amy Dillon, now what Dr. Jane Greer was talking about, did any of it hit home? Did you learn these lessons on your series? What's going on? Oh, man, did we ever. Let me tell you something. We came in there with a lot of different communicational issues of just his tone and the way that I take it. And, you know, when you get mad, I always do, like, the silent treatment. Or, you know, the famous line that every woman uses is, what's wrong? And we say, nothing is wrong. Nothing. <laughs> and so I learned how to really, like, explain to him, like, what he what he's doing and or, like, why I'm upset. And we actually talk about it now, which is, Something I never thought we'd do. Which is terrific because a lot of times what couples do when they can't talk about what's bothering them or making them angry, they retaliate with their actions and behaviors, their tones or, you know, rolling their eyes, all these looks and, and gestures that really make the other person angry and hurt. And then you've got, you know, just a retaliatory, what I call a tit for tat war in play. Yes. Yes, no, doctor, that was exactly what we did before the show. Um, I would have my little attitude, and I'm the one, hey, I am at fault here, too. He had a tone, I had an attitude, and we were never getting um, to where we could really talk. We have a cat that just joined us. <laughs> <laughs> this is live, everyone. The cat, Sadie, the cat is there. <laughs> Dylan, what's the name of the cat? Uh, Sadie. Sadie May. Sadie Mae made it to the T. If you didn't know, Sadie Mae is famous. This is the T. It's live. Anything can happen. It's so live that people with so many topics, I see your comments, but I got to talk to my guests. I have so many questions for self. Hold on a second. Um, some of the topics we're going to try to get to today of time. Fetty Wap, Alexis Sky, blaming each other for a sex tape leaking. Oh, that's a whole can of worms right there. There's too many things like Kim Kardashian uh, going to Dubai, her first public outing since the robbery. And hopefully the police are having some actual arrests. There's a lot going on in the celebrity world, but there's so much going on with my guests. I can't even keep up with all you guys calling in. Like, I mean, from right here, we have the Leah Robinson family. Hey. Royal, Sugar Hill coming in. Leah, where are you calling us from? What, what's going on over there? I am calling you from New York City right now. I'm actually in the Bravo office as we speak. How's everything going with you? Yo, the show is wild right now. Is it as wild as your life on Bravo's show? First Family of Hip Hop? It could I'm be. I'm not sure. If you, guys, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, check this clip out. There's some disloyalty going on here, and I don't like that. This kid walks around like he's God's gifted earth. And you just called her a bitch. This is somebody I'm working with. Listen, we're not here to go back and forth. Yeah. We're here to talk about what we can do about the future of Sugar Hill. At the end of the day, blood is going to always be thicker than water. <laughs> it's like God, Jesus, Beyonce, don't, and Leah. Don't get a slap. <laughs> but only one of us could. Leo, 
Gerald, what comes to mind when you see that trailer for this season? Jesus Christ. Um, my, <laughs> my family is a little crazy, but we all love each other. And I'm just excited for the world to just see my family and our story. Mm. Now, during the filming, what did you learn about yourself while filming this series? I learned that all of my family has a pattern of like we all internalize things. And I love doing the show because it allowed us all to just share how we really feel about certain things that we've all just kept inside for so long. So I'm excited for everyone to see that. It was like therapy for all of us. Ooh, therapy. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That means it gets really real. I'm gonna come back to you. Don't go to don't you go anywhere. And I, I see Amina. I want to see Amina. Are you, are you hanging with your daughter? Can we see her? Can we? Oh, do we have? Yeah. Oh my God. She's not. <laughs> she's she's, she's not so enemy. Yo, my daughter is. Oh. She's like so jealous of me. Like whenever I play my guitar, or my keyboard, or whenever I'm doing something, she always wants my attention. So, but I guess it's all kids, right? This age. She's two and a half now. So. Of course, she is beautiful. Okay. What is she listening to? What is, is she listening to mommy's songs? She is, I tried to put on some cartoons for her on her little tablet, but she's, you know, obviously more interested in mommy's attention. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And I did see how polite is one, my, first, my first baby, Corey Guns. Ah. Uh. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, she, look at her vibe. Not even moving. I think someone's made for the starlight. Someone's made for the starlight. DJ Self, you being a TV star yourself, should Amina bring in the next generation on the next show she does? What do you think, Self? What's up, Amina? I, 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 you know what? Before I answer, I had to ask Peter because, you know, Peter Peter is is the uh, is the general of the creep squad, so I don't want to outrank myself. So I'm going to make sure Peter cool with it first before I answer any questions about his kids. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll have other reality stars as well. Now, Amy and Dylan, do you think Amina should bring the baby on the next show? I think we have a star. Look at how calm she is. I don't think you just have, like, one. I think you need 19. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, it's crazy because both of my kids were born on the show. Like, um, yes. I, you know, both births were filmed, so it's crazy <laughs> to see her now two years later. Well, she's I'd a say, doll. I'd say if you're comfortable with it, let her rip. Yeah, she's a doll. She's so cute. Thank you. So she loves the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call a natural, ladies and gentlemen. And Amina, you need an agent for that beautiful kid? I'll take 5%. I'm not greedy. I am not greedy, everybody. I have so much going on here. Let me go to Kristen. Kristen, who would you like to talk to today? Would you like to talk to Amina? I want to talk to DJ Self, to Amy and Dylan King, to Jessica at Wet Paint. Tiana, what do you want? What do you want, Kristen? What do you want? Let's bring Amy back. There's so much going on in the Duggar family. I mean, really, what is the latest? Like, they had a really difficult 2015 and 2016. Where does the entire family stand kind of at this point? You know, I'm not really here to talk about my family. Um, I can talk about what's going on with Dylan and I, and we remodeled a house. Um, we have a lot. We've got a lot of stuff going on. I have a t-shirt line coming out, which is I'm really excited about. Um, life is really good, and I can honestly say that the therapy that we that we received was awesome, and we've learned so much through the program of Marriage Boot Camp. That was sliding past the question for sure. <laughs> so have, have you been asked to not talk about the Duggars? That's a good question. I'm sorry, what did you say? Have you been asked not to talk about the Duggars? I, I haven't. Um, it's just something that, you know, it's about Dylan and I, and that's the reason why we're on the show. And it doesn't really involve my cousins. And even though I love them and their family, you know, this is now my new family. And so um, yeah. I'm here to work this out. Yeah. And, and Amy, while you're on t-shirt line, what is going on? What do we got here? Yeah, we got like a whole apparel line coming out. So we it's not just t-shirts. It's like coffee mugs and phone cases and, you know, it's she, fun things. It's stuff that she's been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And yeah. uh, it's finally like, I, hey, it's time to do I it. Had, um, I had this plan for like two years, but it's called Sweet Rochelle. And it's something that is my middle name that I'm working on. Um, really comfy, cozy line of just um, different like engagement line T-shirts and just super cute stuff for girls. And I'm really excited about it. Look at that. She's excited. Look at that. Entrepreneur. Check. So, Mary, check. Amy's just checking all these checks. What are you guys doing at home? I know also signing checks. My man Self over here now <laughs> going from being – I want to ask you, man, like, you, I've heard you on the radio for years just, like, crushing it, and, and you've, I've seen you out in so much. Loving hip-hop. Why did you choose to do it, man? 
Um, to be honest with you, like in New York City, anybody who, who's not from New York, um, I've been on radio for a handful of years, and in New York, um, I'm contracted to be on radio from Monday to Saturday. So that means I can't really travel abroad. So I had to figure out a way to, to cross my brand to other places with me be still being in New York. So, I, you know, they, they kept approaching me to do Love & Hip Hop, and my life is super-duper crazy, so you'll see a lot more stuff. So um, I just decided to do it so I could make my brand, you know, across in, across the country, and then across the world. I feel you. And all of you guys calling in, I'm going to try to get you to talk to self, I promise, but I'm greedy. I'm talking to myself. My man, self. <laughs> I mean, self, what's now, up? Right there in a minute, I miss you. <laughs> And also, Self, Gwyn and Entertainment, your yes. two artists. Why did you pick these two? Let's talk about them. Um, well, well, one, um, the girl, her name is Major Galore. Um, she's on the show on this new season of Love & Hip Hop with me also, and she's a singer. And um, me doing um, Love & Hip Hop, I didn't know that I had the power to, to make um, someone a, a celebrity or a star in, um, in this hip hop urban field. So, you know, I said, hey, let me try it. Then, you know, things started working, then I found another artist, and then I was like, okay, more money, more money. And just like Amy with the t-shirt line and stuff, I said, hey, let me do some t-shirts and let's just make some money. So now, you know, I got Creep Squad t-shirts, I got Gwyneth t-shirts. Amy, if you need some help <clears throat> with the uh, t-shirt line, just come see Gwyneth. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look at a collaboration right here. Listen, I'll show, I'll show you how to do it, baby. <laughs> Dylan, what's up? You, can speak. you gotta do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know what's so great about me being a businessman? I'll only take 7% of the collaboration of Gwyn and, and, and the Amy and Dylan King project. We got this, people. As a team, we got this. We got this. Now, I know I'm supposed to rap soon, but I'm going off key. I have to go over here because Tiana called in. Tiana Ibrahimovic, and I got the name right today. I have on DJ <laughs> Self from Love and Hip Hop, Amina Butterfly. She has her beautiful daughter with her. I have Leah Robinson here from the First Family Hip Hop. I have Amy and Dilly King. I have Dr. Jane Greer. If you have any questions about life, who do you want to talk to, Tiana? This is your show. I want to talk to all of them, but it, it's hard, I guess, to get them all. Uh, so I know how you feel <laughs> when you get uh, so many interesting people. So I actually have a question for uh, Amy and uh, about marriage boot camp. Uh, what is the one advice that you picked up and you, you live by uh, currently because you guys seem really happy and close, but also very busy with a lot of uh, other projects? Is that the secret? Actually, I'm going to say so hi, much? is it Shauna? Hi, Tiana. Thank hi. you for joining. Um, I would say for us, we don't go to bed mad. It's angry at all, no matter what it is. So if we have an issue, we resolve it, no matter how long that takes. <laughs> sure. Sure. Anyone to agree or think don't about that? Angry. Yeah, don't go to bed, Matt. Don't go to bed angry at all. No, and we've seen the sun come up before. Trust me. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what does Dr. Greer think about that? Oh, you want Dr. Greer thinking about that? Call yeah. you out, Dr. Greer. What's what do you up? think about that? Yeah. So I think it's really important not to go to bed angry. However, I would encourage people not to necessarily stay up all night and talk it out because what happens for people is one person has a meeting, they're exhausted, they can't deal with the issue effectively, and they wind up angrier. So I suggest what I call hit the hold button. And I tell people instead, say, look, I, and do it in a caring way, not in the midst of anger. I really want to talk about with this with you. I want to work it out. I'm exhausted right now. Let's hit the hold button and let's plan to talk about it and then pick a time, either the next day, Saturday morning, Friday afternoon, whatever it's going to be that you will revisit it so that you learn how to tolerate being upset or having an issue that's distressing, but still being connected and go on and going on with your life. That's probably a better idea than staying up all night. <laughs> That's what I found with my couples. They wind up really so 
distress because one person is saying, I can't do these marathon phone, you know, these marathon talking all through the night. They're exhausted. They'll agree to things that they later will not be able to follow through on or honor. And so the important thing is you don't want to feel angry and distraught when you go to sleep. So if you both agree that you will talk about it and you start to build in the integrity and honoring the plan to talk when you plan it, you know that you will trust that you'll come back and, all right, you know what, we're going to talk about this Saturday. That's great. And you can let it go and go on with your life. What if you get angry with your partner and you're at a party? You can't have a fallout argument or work out an issue. No, right, you're not going to do that. Right. Right. You need to be able to resolve, at least in the moment, to get to a place of connection and feeling okay and know that you'll work out your difficulties and your differences when you can. Do you see what we're doing? I'm giving you guys free advice from Dr. Jane Greer. You're getting business advice from DJ Self. You're getting life advice from Amy King. Am I a therapist now? Should I forget being hosting? I don't know. Leah, you see what's going on here? The game is crazy. Yes, we are I love it. I, I think you have a new job in, in therapy, to be honest. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to be like DJ Self, get more checks over here. Now, Leah, I have a lot of people on today. If there's anyone you want to talk to, let me know. But before that, I want to talk to you about uh, the Say EP. What is up? Yes. Why? Why? What's going on? What's up? Amazing, 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 great magical music. It's entitled Say, which means songs about you, which basically means that there's a song for each and every person on this project. My music is so bomb and it's incredible and I just can't wait for the world to hear it. And I want to talk to DJ Self because I want to know he, when he's going to start playing my records, okay? Uh, we so on out, don't worry about it. Yo, Jeremy, yes, listen self. to the post. Real quick, Jeremy, the most important thing that you forgot, you got to make sure that you include your 7%. See, you you, you losing focus right now, baby. Business. Man, I thought we was here. You can't be, you can't be saying that, man. All right, don't lose focus. Leah, just holler at me. Uh, DM me, I guess, and we can exchange information. But then, Jeremy, listen, make sure you get your 7%. You see how this, this thing is happening? And, and no, also... man, we supposed to be here, okay? I don't know too much. I don't know too much about your relationship, Dylan. But listen, Dylan, I'm down with the creep squad. You're a little bit too quiet. Don't let Amy take over everything, Dylan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's good, she's good at this stuff. If I got my opinion, I'll chime in. I'll chime in. I, I'm not, I'm not your opinion. <laughs> you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm King Creep, so you know, just you know, no. I, send Dylan, some, don't be afraid. Send me some shirts. I wear them. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know what? You can actually wear them. I'm going to hook you up, Self. But Self, I'm going to need 7% after the sales increase, after my man uh, Dylan wears them, because he's got the swag like that. You see him? Dylan's part of the beer gang. You know what's up. I know I'm rapping soon. I promise I'm unhinged today, people. Jessica, the show is wild today. I'm totally off script. I'm not even talking about topics here. Jessica, what do you want to talk about? I actually wanted to ask Self a question. Since we're talking about representing new artists, uh, yes, Cardi uh -huh. B, you worked with her last year. We saw her rise over the last year or so. And she kind of said she doesn't rock with you anymore because you tried to take credit for her come up. You know, how much do you feel you contributed to her success? And do you think that statement was a little far reaching? Um, well, I didn't. T I, what The one thing I did say is I helped her in her career. I think um, the mistake some people make is um, people say I made her. No, no. Um, she, I think that her career jump shot it when she got on Love and Hip Hop. Uh, let me ask you first, would you agree on that? Yes, I would agree yes. with that. Okay, so um, the reason why she was on the television show was because of me. I, I went and brought her to the television show, and um, I feel like I created a platform, which is what I do for a lot of new artists. I create platforms for people to, to shine, as well as you see Leah uh, called, you know, say, hey, could you play my song? I don't think I will be making Leah. I think that I will create a bigger platform for her music to get heard. Um, I think by putting um, Cardi on Love and Hip Hop, I gave her a bigger platform for eyes to see her talent. So um, therefore, I feel like I create opportunities for new artists. I don't think I make people because I don't. You can't make a person a person to make themselves. But um, when you create a platform for someone, I think they should be appreciative. And a lot of times in in um, urban communities, a lot of people are not appreciative when you give them um, or, or create an opportunity for them. So I mean, if if people feel that way. Uh, whatever, you know, now I got a uh, new artist and I felt like, you know, um, 
Now, like I told Jeremy, about 7%. You know, now um, <laughs> they signed to me. So no way, right. no how, whether they do whatever, they still going to have to kick up that. Well, I'm a little bit more than 7%. Jeremy's is cutting himself short. It's a little <laughs> bit more than I'm taking, I'm ta okay, okay, I'm taking notes. I see where you're going. I understand, Gwen, and you guys should join too. Yes, I am rapping now. I have a minute left. Hold on. Um, you know, what did you learn about yourself in writing your book? I got about 30 seconds, oh, so I have to go. Uh, that's a good question because it's, Honestly, I learned so much about me, and it was more like it was really my own therapy, you know, after everything that I've been through, especially the past four years. Like, it was therapeutic writing this, and I didn't plan on putting it out. It was more like a journal. It started like a journal, and then, you know, I connected with this, my publishing company, 13th and Joan, and they encouraged me to, you know, actually share. And I'm so glad I did because, you know, it really helped me grow and understand why I made the choices that I made, and like a lot of things, I learned a lot about myself. So, I hope people that read it are going to learn a lot about me, too. So. Ooh, we're going to get to know what goes on in Amina's brain. Hello, everyone. I want to thank all of my callers, all of you guys who are trying to get in. I did my best to get you in, but I'm greedy. That's why it's my show. I had so many questions to ask. Now, Amina, Self, Leah, Amy, Dylan, Dr. Jane Greer, I need you guys to stay on. I got a bonus thing for you guys. And for all of you callers, we're live, 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Wait till you see why I'm calling in tomorrow. This is the tea. Until next time, I'm Jeremy Hassel. Keep it positive. Keep At the intersection of social and mass media, TV and the web, this is the Video Call Center.